What's up, fight fans? Um, thanks, as always, for coming through. Let's talk a bit of Anthony Joshua. Um, I haven't done an Anthony Joshua video for for a while, um, but he's in the news again, and that's because, reportedly, he's due to sign a 100 million three-year contract extension with Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, etc., etc. Remember, his contract does run out in November, and there have been rumours um, that he might go elsewhere. I actually think that Anthony Joshua could do it by himself now. I don't think he needs a promotional company. I think he could do it by himself. AJ Promotions. Um, I think he's already started AJ Promotions, actually. Um, I think I think um, Akoli signed to him, I believe. Could be wrong. But um, I think he could do it himself, like Mayweather's did, like even Miguel Cotto did towards the end of his career. Although Miguel Cotto did sign with Rock Nation for a couple of fights. I think AJ is in a position where he's so powerful... He could go himself. Sometimes I wonder if he knows how powerful he is. I'm sure he does. But um, this new deal that Matchroom have sort of set up with that perform group, um, AJ is a massive part of that. Trust me. Because Matchroom were always, I think, putting on good shows. I mean, think of the likes of um, George Groves, Carl Froch, um, which other ones? Um, Carl Froch, Boutte. A couple of Kell Brook shows have been pretty big. But obviously nothing like the AJ shows we've been seeing at Wembley and um, the Principality Stadium, those are massive. And I think he played a big part in Matchroom getting that deal because they've gone from the biggest promoter in the UK to arguably now the biggest promoter in the world. And obviously with AJ being the face of that promotion, he he played a massive, massive part. Um, so yeah, AJ is about to sign a three-year contract worth £100 million over those three years. I think it could be more. I think he's not only the biggest commodity in boxing, I think he's one of the biggest commodities in sport right now. Um, I really do. I think he has that massive crossover appeal that not many boxers have. And he's up there with some of the biggest sportsmen and sports ladies in the world. He really is. AJ fights kind of twice a year now. He had three fights in 2016, but only two in 2017 and one so far in 2018, Parker. And I, I think it's probably going to be one again this year. So... When you break it down, um, a free three year extension, um, a hundred million, so that's um, what six fights. So they're looking at about what a guarantee of about seventeen million pounds per fight with him. That's what they're saying, which is fucking ridiculous money. It really is. That's a guarantee. So that's that doesn't include pay per view. I'm sure it doesn't. So obviously, because you can't, you don't know how good the pay per views are going to be. So we're just saying, we're Matram is saying, we're guaranteeing you. 17 million pounds no matter what for all the american guys over there that's 23 million dollars we're guaranteeing you what 22 23 million dollars per fight for your next six fights and if pay-per-view numbers come in big then that's a cherry on top so that's what they're guaranteeing him which is which is phenomenal i mean you look at the last person to get such a big deal in boxing and that's floyd mayweather floyd mayweather got a six fight deal with showtime and i think that was for 200 million dollars Obviously, he made more because the pay-per-view fights with Pacquiao, etc., done massive numbers, and I think Canelo as well. Was Canelo in that contract? Actually, Canelo might have been before that. I'm not sure, but we know the Pacquiao one, definitely. So um, that worked out as like $33 million a fight. So you can see how AJ really is progressing. I mean, that was at the tail end of Mayweather's career. That was, that was when Mayweather was a superstar. AJ really, for me, has just started his boxing career. He's only, what, 22, 23 fights in. So for him to get a guarantee of £100 million over six fights is 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 pretty darn good. And I say six fights because I, I truly believe that AJ will only start fighting twice a year now. I think he will be like a lot of these top boxers that only do twice a year. Canelo does it now. Floyd did it in his career towards the end. Even Cotto, Cotto sometimes fought once a year. So he will do that. Um... It's a risk. With heavyweight boxing, it is a risk. I mean, in his next fight, he could get smoked. Let's be honest, he could get absolutely smoked. If his next fight is Wilder, which it won't be, but to say it is, he could get knocked the fuck out and never be the same again, but he's guaranteed $100 million. Um, So, um, well done, AJ, for securing that deal. I'm always happy when boxers get this cup of money because I think it's the toughest sport in the world. So, when they get paid, they certainly deserve it. And, look, he bloody deserves it, right? £100 million... Pounds over three years is wow that's something special what do you guys make of it 100 million pounds three years too much too little 
I'm kind of in the middle. Um, I think he could potentially earn more. But again, like I said, boxing, you just do not know what could happen. Um, so I think he needs to sign on the dotted line as soon as possible. And again, I don't think this includes pay-per-view. So we're just talking 17 million a, a fight, basic. 17 million a fight, basic. This is why I laugh when people say that... Um, he has to take Wilder's deal and sign the contract. When Wilder got paid $2.1 million his last fight, which is £1.5 million, AJ's about to sign a deal that gives him a £17 million basic. Fucking hell. Boxing has gone crazy.